Thanks for coming all the way here for this. Glad to hear that. I wanted someplace quiet to talk. I just came from the hospital. After this, I have to pick my sister up from preschool, go shopping, cook dinner, do laundry. There's still so much I have to do. It sure is. But I can handle it. My mom had to do all this every single day. <sighs> Remember how I told you I had a chance to win that scholarship? Turns out I can't practice anymore. I just don't have the time for it. Besides, even with the scholarship, we still can't afford college. I mean, we don't even have enough to survive. We already lost dad, and now mom can't work. It's up to me to earn a living. <sighs> I have no choice but to give up track. Why'd you have to die, Dad? I wish I could have taken you on one last time. I just wanted to run one more time. One last run at some big event. Just one more time. Is this really how it ends for me? You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I'm gonna compete. Even if it's my last time, I wanna win. I've dedicated most of my life to track and field. It's time to put everything I've learned to the ultimate test. I'm glad we could talk. Everything feels a lot clearer now. Because of you, I have something to aim for. Thanks, man. Sister's probably waiting for me. See ya. Oh, welcome back. Nah.
Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Very well, then. Welcome to the Velvet Room. your progress so far. This persona, yes? So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look forward to your next visit.
Poe. yourself. Oh, no. 
I'm in bad shape. service to conduct. Siding the heart sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. Uh, I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these uh, when it's hardest to be alone. Asking if there are other monks at my temple? My temple's small, and I don't depend on nobody but myself. I'm the only one there. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. Its true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too. <laughs> Day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. Be careful on your way home, too, kid.
then... Good. I am so lucky I get to eat such amazing food. Should I bring some home? If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. Yeah, I will. It feels wrong being the only one who gets to eat. Oh, by the way, about my mom. She's gonna be out of the hospital soon. Just when I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself. And guess what else? My teammates offered to help me with the kids, too. They even said they picked my sister up from preschool. I guess everyone's been worried about me. And there I was, total tunnel vision, trying to do everything on my own. In the end, maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together. Honestly, that's reassuring to hear from you. I feel a lot better about everything now that I know how everyone really feels. I'm having fun just running laps. My body feels light as a feather now. Oops, guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. And I feel great. Thanks, buddy. Suggestion.
Ja. Sorry I'm late. I ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen ones nowadays, but nothing beats freshly cooked, right? Think so? I just thought more would be better than less. Well, let's go on and get started. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? Uh, I, I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? You sure? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and mix the batter. I'll leave the actual cooking part to you. Oh, so that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. All right, I think this will be enough. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something smelled good! Yeah, just give me a minute. We can eat once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? <laughs> and don't forget Amada. Okay! Oh, it's like a Tartarus of pancakes! Did the two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah, although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. Thanks for the pancakes. They were really good. Tasted like a lot of care went into them. If you ever make some again, I'd like to help out too. For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong points. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook, so I never really learned myself. Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. Yeah, pretty much. They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. Hm. Do you remember that medal you found in the package from my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, 
I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me, after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this metal was all that was left of her. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her, but I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. <laughs> They'd laugh if they saw me now. That's true. Sweet foods can relieve fatigue. I think I'll be ready to fight again by tomorrow. I realized I'd just been running away all this time, making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. Well, if that's how you feel, then I'd better not disappoint. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here. You know, I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right, that's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish clean. <sighs> Well, I ran into that group of punks on my way home from shopping today. There were even more of them this time, and one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry though, I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. I just let them throw as many punches as they wanted until they got tired and gave up. I thought I could dodge them all, but uh, I guess I've still got room to improve.
Okay, then. Accepting a request? Most excellent. Now, let's hear your... Very well, then. Oh, my! Come to think of it. again.
We've got some new stuff. Take your time, bros. Which ones? Now, thanks for coming. You gotta tell no. I never felt like. You made up your mind. I never felt like. Now, thanks for coming. You made up your mind. Thanks for coming. Which ones? You gotta tell no. You made up your mind. You sure? Thanks for coming. Which one? Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Thanks. Welcome. Of course. I never felt like Baby's to win me. I've got some good stuff in stock. Take you like that one. Have you decided? We have a deal. I never felt like I never feel like you like that one? Did that count? All right, I'll trade you for this. You like that one? Did that we have a deal? You gotta tell no. I never feel like. I never feel like. It's been much more pleasant around here recently, and on Port Island in particular. Well, I I'm sure this will prove to be useful. You gotta tell no. I never feel like. I never feel like. I'm doing some personal research, but I can't get my hands on certain items. If you find something interesting, bring it to me, will you? Creating equipment. I never feel like what would you like? So, what will it be? 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 You should learn how to identify fakes. You won't find any in my store, but other antique shops may carry them. There are all kinds of people in this world, like liars and cheats. Are you sure? Here you go, thanks for waiting. So, what will it be? You gotta tell no. Is that all you need? Come again. some new stuff. Take your time, bros. You made up your mind? That's all you want? Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? Good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful.
Marvelous. Very well, then. Dear, there's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. What, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. No, oh, oh, no, no, don't look. I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? We are, too. We spend every day looking forward to the chance of seeing you again. Sometimes, you even make me feel smarter. Maybe I should just go back to school. Ah, just kidding. Said, I, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. I see you back.
coming down today, kid. Mind listening to what this old monk has to say? Those folks downstairs, they're probably around your age, huh? It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely, their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, and it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuse than a club to me. If those kids really want to relax, we should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. Hey! There's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. 21 this year. It's a little older than you. He's alive, that is. It's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids? I mean, what if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness, emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? We'll see you next time. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid.
doing better today. I know it probably looked dire last time, right? Sorry if I scared you. I'd been reading a book before we met that day. I guess I got so absorbed in it that I didn't realize how cold the wind was. Do you enjoy reading books? I see. That's something we have in common, then. Nowadays, reading books is all I do. I find that they give me a way to escape everything else. I can just get lost in the book's private world. Do you read books all the way through? Oh, do you? I don't usually reach the end either, although I think our reasoning differs. The more engaging a story is, the more I want to get lost in it. But I'm always afraid to finish it. Because once I finish the story, I'll have to come back to reality. This inescapable body of mine. Heartwarming stories filled with hope. Those are the kinds of books I like to read. They give me a little solace when I have to come back to the real world. It looks like the sun is already setting. Time is so ruthless. I hope we have another chance to talk. Oh, this time I thought you were... I guess my eyes 
side is getting bad after all. Depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. 